Hey Joey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Am I interrupting you? Is this a good moment? I mean, I'm just arranging the showroom, but come on in. Can we come in? Yes, yes. Hey, wow, look at this place. Yeah, excuse the boxes. We're still fixing everything up and, you know, doing my curating. Wow, tell me, tell us about this. Well, this is a brand actually from the Philippines and it's all natural and this company recycled their own bottles uh their own containers and then they have a refill program so they're really trying to go for zero waste so i'm just introducing it now see how people takes it and then if people are interested in it i will take the refill program here too wow that's amazing what is this place the whole place tell us about it well, it started as me looking for an office space for a design studio and I found this place and so our studio is upstairs, but let's not go up there. Okay, that's <laughs> it's cool. It's a mess, I'm still <laughs> arranging it. And then I saw an opportunity to make this um, ground floor a showroom uh, since I'm a brand ambassador for a lot of different brands. So, you know, why not just look at a book? Why not look at it in person? That's amazing. I think I said that correctly. Yeah. Um, so it kind of just grew from there. I had several brands and then I thought, well, this is a nice space for activation. So um, I added in all the other lifestyle items that I like. Like, you know, I like smoking my cheese and my drinks. So I have a smoker, you know, I have like this really cool glasses. Uh, so it's just a mixture of everything. I even have this, um, we're almost out actually. This is dental floss. I know oh, it's like cool. I'm everywhere, I'm doing everything. Um, but this is made of bamboo and charcoal. Wow, we so need to try that. Yeah, everything is biodegradable. Everything is made very sustainably. Uh, so it's all about curating this lifestyle of health and wellness and sustainability and loving mother earth you know that's great what are you drinking <laughs> oh you want some i have some kombucha okay Let let's me, try let me it give you some yes um, thank you wow this place you, looks amazing uh, of the showroom we're still kind of fixing it so we will have a full-on kitchen uh hopefully ready for our grand opening but if not we'll still make it look cool yeah. thank you so much for that drink it's so yeah. hot in here Although Thanks. I didn't make the kombucha myself. Um, and if you're wondering what this is, I practice what I preach, zero waste. Wow. So everything, oh my God, I actually have to show you, this is too exciting. So instead of, uh, you know, disposable plates, I have this banana leaf plate right. that I use at least two or three times. Mm -hmm. And then I put it in here and then it becomes soil again. Wow. Store organic. Great. So I put that in my garden, you know. Um, put it, I, I have fruits and vegetables. I grow them. So that becomes my fertilizer. That's amazing. Show us the rest of the showroom. Oh, yes. Oh, this is like, I've always wanted to do hospitality. So I did a house with this huge, um, huge open spaces with really tall ceilings. So, and I liked it so much, I decided I'm gonna do one for the showroom. Joey, tell us, do you consider yourself an artist? I do. Artist and designer. Is there a difference? Maybe for some, but for me, it's kind of all in one, you know, I'm very artistic, I'm very creative. This doesn't feel like work to me. Um, I just feel like I'm always exploring ideas and you know, I guess when I say artist, because I paint, I do sculptures, I do photography sometimes. And then designer, because I mean, I design furniture, uh, I design homes, I design commercial buildings. I even designed an airport. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, the exciting part of the showroom, aside from, you know, I mean, I'll tell you more about the big brands too. Okay. But what excited me the most is that if it's not obvious, I'm Filipino. So I wanted to support all my other Filipino friends, artists, designers. So I'm carrying their brands. Um, almost everything in, along this 
Some walls are all made in the Philippines, designed by a Filipina entrepreneur. You know, the sandals there. Um, those are recycled denim, actually. Uh, oh. Yeah. So, you know, everything has like multiple lives, you know? It's not just like you buy a new raw material and make something new and then it gets old, you throw it away. Totally. I'm all about reusing, <laughs> upgrading, upcycling. Right. What inspires you? What inspires me is just Mother Earth. I know, is that too like broad? <laughs> but, you know, I, I wanted to be conscious about how I live my life. And that's what inspires me. Like everything is artsy fartsy <laughs> what is this little dog <laughs> oh it's a it's a wooden sculpture uh, and i got it from one of my um shopping trips with my client in bali and i just thought that this was before i got an actual dog oh wow <laughs> i had a pretend dog do you like to here. travel i love traveling that's one of my inspirations actually um and you know you see new places new culture um, but you know, the weird part is the more I travel, the more I become in love with my own culture, you know, hence like supporting the artistry behind, uh, other Filipinos. Um, it's a friend of mine that do this agimats, um, and oh my goodness, I don't know how to translate that in English all of a sudden, but <laughs> it's, um, you know, it kind of like for love or for, um, you know lucky charm yeah it's yeah yeah they're, exactly they're like charms um so she's a friend of mine that also do this clothing um, beautiful and this and this bags you know how is it how is a normal day for you to work here well i start with pilates at early early in the morning um and then i walk i make my coffee and then i walk to work so you know it's it's a really I feel like it's a really healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Um, so I, I try to overcome the millions of carbon footprint I have flying all over the world when I travel. Right. Uh, I try to kind of return it on my normal day to day. Um, so, yes, this, this um, Happy and Elia and Silviana, you know, they're all like really amazing designers in the Philippines. They're becoming uh, world renowned. So I'm lucky to actually have them in my store. So everything starts with, it's something that I would want to wear. Uh, and then I wear it and people are like, where'd you get that? Right. So that's kind of where it all started. You know, like mm -hmm. I wanted to share um, where I got the cool stuff that I wear. Beautiful. Um, Everything yeah, you know, it's about sharing um, your resources. Oh, oh my god oh my I gotta god. tell you about this okay but yes please do they are beautiful so, these glasses yeah like a million years ago i was chosen by the <laughs> regional government of umbria uh to help modernize some of the designs for the deruta maiolica derutis maiolica wow so all this uh were inspired you know we we uh took some training courses, understood the history, why they have Maiolica, the types of pigments they use. So these are all hand painted by Italians. Oh! Yeah, um, you know, from, from the design that I did that was inspired by their culture. Um, yeah, so it's it just like full of beautiful things, you know, full of like things that smell good. A friend of mine, I had an event and I called it Rock Your Inner Diwata. Diwata means goddess oh, okay. in, in our language. And so she made a special scent for me, Diwata. So this scent is going to be exclusive in our showroom. Uh, hmm, did you smell that? So, yeah, very good. So good. I love this space. It's so full of art. I love it. Hey, tell me about these chairs. So. Once in a while, I go through just old storage um, for for my upholsterer, and he had all this like treasures of like old vintage chairs. Mm -hmm. So I go through it. I pick the ones that I thought would be cool, and I thought this was cool. So right? cool! So I have um, bouquet upholstery on it. 
I changed it a little bit. I used to have like a back backrest, but I thought this is kind of more cool, modern. You know, is it more comfortable? I'm not sure. Yeah. Let me see. Cool. Hey, Jody. Hi. Hi. You look great. You want to take some shots? Sure. Sure. Like shot shots or. <laughs> Sure. Oh, photo shots? Oh, yeah, let's take photos. For the beginning. <laughs> I like this. With my kombucha. <laughs> yeah, I see you have everything going on here. Thank you for the shots. Thank you. Tell me about these chairs. This patio is so I'm so all cool. about outdoor living, right? Yeah. I mean, we are in Los Angeles after all. Of course. Who um, wouldn't like that? This is a collaboration. I did with a middle artist, EJ Gottlieb, and we did this together. I mean, he did most of it, but you know, I drew it for him and we collaborated and I love it. And, and it's actually metal, recycled. Wow. Steel. Yeah. Wow. Um, but the main feature of the showroom is this outdoor kitchen. Um, Beautiful. I, I've been seeing this brand in like European magazines and i think after a few years i discovered what company it is i called them um and it's the only grill in wow. the world with like a flat cover and for a designer this aesthetic is super important for me so we are now the only place where you can get this in the u.s and it's straight from spain and it's just super so you know. beautiful Hey, Joey, yeah. tell us, what makes you happy? Outdoors, the outdoor, living outdoors, you know, making, growing my own food, making my own food and designing my lifestyle and sharing it with my clients and designing their lifestyle. Um, and yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Well, we love to see you and visit you. Thank you for having us. You are welcome. When you come back, there's going to be more products up and around, and I can tell you more about it. All right. Thank you, Joey. Have Drive a good safe. day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.